in this video, I'm going to show you how to get hit by a car. Step one, find someone who's willing to hit you with their car. My boss was more than willing. <laughs> then on a tripod or a steady surface, record them in their car driving by. Step two, do your best acting performance in the same place. Step three, film nothing. In Adobe Premiere, drop in your nothing clip, your acting clip, and your car clip. On the car clip, right click, replace with After Effects composition. I'm going to go to a section of the video where I start to see the car, double click on this clip. At the top of the pane, click on this rotor brush tool. The rotor brush tool is basically going to let us paint out the car so we have a transparent background. Hovering over the tool, we get some directions. Drag over foreground or option drag over background. I'm going to start painting the car. If it works, the outline of the car should turn pink. Well, it didn't work because it made the entire video pink. I also notice I have a warning sign here that says my settings aren't optimal for Rotobrush. So I'm going to click Composition, Composition Settings, and change my frame rate to be what the warning's recommending, and I want my resolution playback to be at full. Now, if I click Option or Alt and drag my Rotobrush, it will create this red line. Red lines means I'm removing the background. This would take forever with these tiny lines, so another tip is to hold Command on your keyboard and at the same time drag your mouse to the right to increase the size of your brush. And you can drag to the left to decrease it. You can also zoom in by clicking here to see better. And if you hold the space bar down, you get this little hand and you can drag it to where you want it to go. Once you got the car painted out, click on this playhead and hold the Command or Control key while I'm using the right arrow on my keypad to go forward one frame. The next few frames, the Rotobrush is auto-detecting the car and it's shadowed perfectly and I don't need to make any adjustments. If at any point it selects something I don't want it to, I just remove it. Or if it doesn't select why I need it to, I just add it. I do this through the whole length of the video. Then I click the composition panel up here and I can see the car with a black background now. You can increase the feather of your Rotobrush to smooth out the edges right here. Then click File, Export, Add to Render Queue. At the bottom of the screen, click high quality to adjust your settings. In order to export the car without a background, you need the video output to be RGB plus alpha. And mine doesn't let me select it. If this happens to you, make sure you have QuickTime selected and you click format options and change your video codec to animation. Now you can click RGB plus alpha. Select the location of your output, click render. Then drop in your exported file back into Premiere and you can increase the speed of the car driving by by right clicking, show kip keyframes, timing mapping, and speed. Then just drag the line up. Let's do the same thing to me as we did with the car. Right click, replace with After Effects compositions, save the file, double click on the sequence, click Rotobrush, paint yourself, go forward in time and adjust as needed, file, export, add to render queue, format options, animations, channels, RGB plus alpha, save to a location, drop in the exported file into Adobe Premiere Pro, line it up to get hit with the car. You can delete the originals because now you have the exported version. Right click, nest yourself, add the transform effect. Now you can keyframe your position and rotation. Go forward a few frames and change your rotation position to move with the car. Deselect use composition shutter angle and add a number in there to add motion blur. To add some motion blur to the car, let's search for the Gaussian blur in the effect panel. Drop it in there, change it to horizontal, and add a number like 40. And you're done. 